Okay guys, apologies for the mess, but this is a hotel, so just deal with it. By the way, Chris is in the background, so if you hear some noise, that's just her. By the way guys, we went to Priceline's today, and we got a gel polish kit for a really cheap price. And I, I don't think I've ever had gel nail polish, so this is a good experience to just try it out. Bear with me as we try to see whether this thing really works. I'm gonna be Bunny, aka Graveyard Girl right now, so. Does this thing really work? Gel polish kit. Oh, and I need my sippy sippy. Um, I don't have anything to drink right now, but I have lemon juice, so sippy sippy. Mm, if you guys don't know what that reference is from, I will put a link in the description. Okay, so those who don't know, gel po polish is pretty much like normal polish, but it lasts a longer time. It doesn't chip. Um, it's not really that messy or anything. I don't even know. That's what they say. Okay, so what this comes with is one 7 watt LED nail lamp, which I think is like the magic to this. Um, one gel base coat, one gel top coat, three gel colors, two in one shine and soak solution, um, remover wraps, nail filer, buffing block, step-by-step -step instruction guide. So it seems like this is just the whole pack everything that there is to know. Um, these are some of the colors they offer. Um, by the way, I'm not sponsored by this company. This is just me bored as fuck in a hotel room trying to figure out how to work this shit. Look at these flowers. Beautiful, beautiful. I just wanna put it in my hair. Would that be weird if I put this in my hair? I'm sorry, this one's not that cool, but. Oh no, I'm dropping these blue things everywhere. These little blue things. Fuck, it's not working and I'm dropping like blue balls like everywhere. But um, I originally was supposed to film this outside, but I'm pretty sure that this LED lamp actually needs electricity and I probably might need to even charge it. So I don't know how this video is gonna work. But also look at these little flowers, these little daisies. How cute. So I'm gonna start off by opening this. So the first thing I realized when I opened this is the smell. It smells like a hair salon to be honest so let's look at the instructions first before we even like touch anything okay so gel polish kit you need clean nails so I'm gonna have to remove my nail polish that's on already um, I hope there is nail polish remover in here I'm pretty sure one of these should work this is apparently to get rid of the sticky residue but I'm gonna see if this gets rid of like my nail polish too yes it does it is nail polish remover I'm sure there are some people in the world who get rid of their nail polish one one nail at a time but I kind of just get all five and just like like just scrape them past and just hope that it rubs off get caught in the rain if you're not into yoga, this nail polish remover is not that great to be honest. I think I've had better nail polish remover in the past. This is very like, but then again, I don't think it's just for getting rid of nail polish. Apparently it's just to get rid of the sticky residue or like if I could be bothered to read the instructions, I could actually figure it out. But this is working to get this nail polish off, so it should be fine. So I got rid of all my nail polish from my fingers or like what's left of it most of it pre-prep shape and file the nail to your desired shape i don't shape my nails like look how jagged that shape is but i'm not going to shape it because i like the shape of my nails even though they're imperfect um wash hands after you have finished shaping nails yeah 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 after washing hands light buff the nail surface with a fine grain so i believe it's this thing where's number one it doesn't say which is number one i think i'm doing this right i don't know before starting, ensure the nail surface is completely clean and free of any oils, creams, or chemicals. Tip, polish and cure one hand at a time. Shake each bottle vigorously for 15 seconds before using. So I think they're trying to say here that to work on one hand at a time and then work on the other hand. Number one, apply a thin layer of opalic gel base coat. So this one, base coat. I wish I had like a camera that could film what I'm doing on my nails, but I'm just gonna do it here and just like, I don't think I've ever had my nails done. This is like the closest to getting my nails done all over yet. Um, okay, so I applied the base coat. Cure for 90 seconds using the LED lamp. It didn't really say to get the lamp ready before doing this, so I'm just gonna rip this out with the, without like kind of, without smudging my nails. And I think I'm 
I think I have to like heat this up for a little bit. Okay, well, I'm gonna take you guys to the LED lamp station. This is the LED lamp station. Looks cool, doesn't it? Pretty cool. So, um, I think I just leave my hands here. I have to cure my hands here for about 90 seconds. Oh shit. I don't know if I filmed this before because I think I I think I might have missed the filming, but I basically colored in like I painted a thin layer of this high tea coat and it matches my pants and I really hope I got that on camera, but if it's not, it's fine. Anyways, that was um that was step three and four. That's all I had to do was apply the color and then stick it under the LED light for 90 seconds. Number five. Apply your second thin coat of your chosen gel color. Do I have to apply two thin coats? Is that necessary? Is that necessary to apply two thin coats? This is our second coat of high tea. I'm trying to like spread this out thin, but I hate how much is on my nails right now. Like it's, it already feels really heavy and I don't like it yet. So I applied my second coat under the LED light for 90 seconds. It feels so heavy on my nails, holy shit. Apply a thin coat of top coat here for 90 seconds. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the last steps. So I'm gonna get the top coat and I'm just gonna apply that on top of my nails as if I haven't applied enough already. I think when they say thin, they really mean a thin. And I really think you can't be as messy with this as you are with nail polish because I think it might get stuck to your skin because I think mine's gonna get stuck to my skin to be honest. So I'm gonna go put this under the LED lamp for 90 seconds, so bear with me. Your curing is complete. Now you must remove the sticky residue off the nail surface. To do so, saturate a cotton pad with two in one shine and soak and wipe over each nail for a few seconds to remove the sticky residue then wash hands with soap and water so i'm just gonna get a tissue this is the two in one thing which is pretty much nail polish remover in my opinion so i'm just using a tissue because i'm ratchet Ooh. fuck i spilled so much Ooh, this room is gonna smell like nail polish remover so that's what it looks like just because i feel like i've got some of this gel polish stuck on my skin. I'm just gonna get the um, filer that they gave us and I'm just gonna file the sides just because it feels like it's kind of like going under my nail. Look how horrible that one is. Like some of them are pretty fucking decent but um, I have to get rid of all this like extra bit of gel on the side of my nails because I should have been a lot more careful when applying it because when I put it under the LED lamp I had my finger on an angle so it kind of just made it droop to one side so one side is like thinner and one side is like thicker than my other <laughs> than the other side so like for example this one this is my thumb like it looks pretty decent but i i got some fucking gel bit on the side so it's like really annoying so i'm just kind of like peeling that off i think you're supposed to wash your hands after this i'm gonna wash my hands and i'm gonna try peeling it off looking good i can't complain they don't seem like they're gonna fall off to be honest but i realize how careful the application process you have to be i'm pretty sure you have to like clean a whole part of your nails and everything because um unfortunately while i was doing my thumb and i was peeling a little bit off from my sides it peeled off a bit from um here but then again this is my first time doing this so it is very very Lord. Okay, so this hand, I'm pretty much gonna follow the whole process, let you guys know how it goes. So this one ended up looking a lot better than the first one. One, I never thought I would like this color, but I actually really like this color. It's actually really nice. And my nails are a lot longer on this hand because this is my plucking hand and this is my obviously like other guitar hand where I actually like need to press and shit. Um, yeah, I thought I would like this color better, but um, so this one's a lot rustier <laughs> than this one, but um, I think the hardest part about having these gel nails is probably not picking at them and not peeling them off when I'm bored because I feel like I would just peel at this when I'm bored. I'm really liking these. I'm really happy. I'm glad that I don't have to like continuously paint my nails over and over again and have them chip all the time. But then again, I always like changing my nail color. Out of 10, I would give 
opalic gel nail set, whatever, gel polish set. I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 for instructions because the instructions were very clear, they were very to the point, and um, I didn't really have much trouble with it, and so I'm, I'm really like glad that the instructions weren't as like confusing as other things can be. However, I just don't like the colors that they gave me. Why did they only give me pink, you know? Pretty glad. Hope you guys liked this video. It was just kind of like a board. I'm in my hotel room. Need to film something type videos. So hope everyone has a really good day. Hope everyone stays lucid. Thank you so much for watching. Anything you need to know, I'll put it down in the description below. Hope everyone has a great one.